All right, so now we need to think critically, okay? So it says, the graph below shows the number of newspapers delivered and total pay for Liana newspaper delivery job. What does the slope of the graph represent? <clears throat> Excuse me. So, X is newspapers delivered. Y is the total dollars a day. So if we find our slope, let's figure out what it is. We talked about on the first page how we have to watch our signs. Sorry, this is a point, and this is a point. I go up from the first, I go left from the right. So I went up five and over five, 10, 15, 20. I can divide both of those by what? 5 over 5, which gives me 1 fourth. So, here's my question. What does that mean? Remember, this is rise over run. So, what does 1 represent here? Total pay. So, if pay is in dollars, I get $1.00 for how many newspapers? Four newspapers delivered. That's all they want. They want you to take what the slope is, which is one fourth, and use the labels of the graph to get the answer. Okay? So let's look at Colby in the next one. Colby puts $100 in his savings account. The graph below shows the amount in the account would increase over the next 10 years. What does the y-intercept represent? So in the first one, we had to find the slope. In this one, they want us to look at the y-intercept. So it's right here. Well, we just talked about what the y-intercept meant, right? We talked about how it was the initial fee, upfront fee, down payment, security, the starting value, the one-time thing, okay? So in this case, what would it represent? In this case, it would represent the starting value. So, Colby put $100, or started with, let's say that, started with $100 in the account. Does that make sense? We just used the words that we just talked about and related it back to this, okay? I want you to try and do the next two and then that, that'll be it for notes.